seconds to Lenny. First day in Canada, our first morning, we just woke up, had breakfast, and we run into moose blocking the road. Something else than yellow fest in France protesting. These are the moose protesting. Now they're eating the salt of the road, right? Yes. Eating the salt. Canada's got the most amazing nature. Just pull up at the side of the road and there's two elk. Casually. Just grazing there. I don't know what they're eating, but they're having fun. We're here in Canada because Merrill is doing a collaboration with Dutch travel agency OAT and with Fairmont Hotels, who own the beautiful Jasper Park Lodge here. This is Jasper, an old railroad town, and another uh, UNESCO wildlife heritage site. We just were at one at the Maldives, and now we're that was marine life. Now we're at one here in, in Canada, in the middle of the Rocky Mountains. And so far this morning we've seen more moose and elk than we've seen cars or people. I think it's the first day in Canada. It's cool, it's really nice. It's cool? It's not, it's not so cold as I expected. Meryl is primarily happy it's not as cold as expected. It's beautiful though. First for me, got up at 6.30 to go skiing today. It was minus 19 somewhere around here when I woke up and checked the, the weather. Uh, this was built 100 years ago by two brothers that put up four tents here and then slowly built into a lodge and everything. But now it's 700 acres and it's only cabins spread out across this beautiful uh, area around the really pretty lake that's right behind me. And on the other side of that lake is one cabin, and reportedly, that's where Meghan and Prince Harry, or Princess Meghan and Prince, still Prince Harry, uh, spent their honeymoon. Um, which leads me to believe breakfast will be good here. <laughs> there must be a minimum time that you're supposed to be interested to see your girlfriend learn how to ski. I don't know if that's 10 minutes or an hour. I'd like to go over there and bail. However, I think she'd like me to hang around a bit. At the same time, she, I know she doesn't want me filming this. So she wants me to go. Now the compromise would be me staying and watching and not filming. I just don't have that in me. <laughs> That's one of the amazing things here in Jasper National Park. It's a great skiing resort, it's an incredible mountain, beautiful views, great slopes for snowboarding, for skiing. But other than that, you got the whole, how do you say this, wildlife experience here. So you got skiing, 
You get the whole spa thing, wildlife, nature. It's an incredible mix. Meryl's only skied six hours in her life, so she's doing tremendous just that being that quick getting her shoes on. I may be temporarily not completely aware of my location. There are chairlifts left and right of me. No idea which one Meryl and Grace are at. Ah, yeah. Let's hope that was a controlled uh, avalanche. If not, Oops. I hope Miro didn't hear that. I told her there are no avalanches here. Okay, I spotted Miro down there. Let's go. I so for her. And the film her sneakily from a distance. Look good? You guys are doing great? You too, Grace. <laughs> you have no idea, it was right behind you. It was like a meter behind you. So don't ever tell her I did, said this, but uh, I'm pretty proud of her. She took one morning of classes again. It's like a third morning of classes. And now she's up on the mountain at the highest top. And there is a green slope, an easy one going downhill. On the other hand, even the black ones go downhill just quicker. <laughs> Good place to learn how to ski because there's nobody here. Look at it. No one. There are some people look like you're totally alone on a mountain. Just some. Just enough so you know that when you break your leg in about an hour or two someone will find you. <laughs> there are signs that says avalanche, danger, gate closed. And you hear all these popping sounds. I'm going the other way. Okay, Wednesday morning. It's been great so far. We took pictures this morning near the hotel, of the lake in front of the hotel, actually. It was beautiful. Sun was coming up. It slowly, slowly got colorful. And it's just such a spectacular location here. So now we're up on the mountain. Mira's got ski glasses. She's doing great. She's down there. And Marie Pierre, her guide, slash ski instructor, is doing so fantastic. Again, nobody on the slopes. Eagle Ridge Court Chair. Conditions? Yeah. Decent, all right. Hey. After a long morning of Instagram husbanding on the slopes. Now we're back in the hotel and we're taking some shots. Trying to take pictures of uh, Miro uh, next to the, the heated pool and uh, the hot springs. Sun's still there, barely. So she's got to hurry. She's changing right now downstairs. If she's fast enough, we get some sun pictures. They told us bears hibernate in winter. No, no, they are, they are not true hibernators. They can get up and be active. Did you notice? <laughs> <laughs> so what do we do when I, we... I, if, uh, you're 200 meters away and uh, mom looks up and sees you, you're too damn close to my baby. I'm gonna mess you up. No, the likelihood of running into bears is slim to none, okay? We do have cougars, okay? What's that? Mountain lion. Not the kind of cougars I run into in my life, but okay. Okay, no, okay. I know a different kind of cougar. Yes. No, these are four-legged cougars, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, with cougars, uh, uh, what we do is exactly the opposite of uh, what you would do with a bear. You uh, uh, act as aggressively as possible, make yourself look as big as possible, wave your hands in the air, unzip your jacket, pull it out to make yourself look big. Um, Dude, Lutz, I got some bad news for you, man. If there's a bear, 
It's I'm sacrificing you for the sake of Meryl. <laughs> The river is flowing underneath. The top part freezes and you see the water run underneath the ice. It looks like it's damp steam coming off, but it's actually the water just pushing through like waves. For some reason there seems to be a tendency of people to wanting to go in that place, to go down there into the canyon. I have no such urge. It appears as if Lutz has the same fascination to go into canyons. We're at the bottom of the canyon now. All the way at the bottom. Look at the ice crystals. How do you determine to go into the canyon? I mean, you as a, as a tour guide cannot take us there, but if an, as oh, an no, individual... No, no, I mean, you have the right to participate in natural selection. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is a free country. <laughs> it's like being in a travel brochure here. Except it's all real. <laughs> I'll be honest, I thought that today the highlight was going to be the food tour of Jasper that we're going to do now. But I think it'd be hard to top this morning. It was so incredible. Kind of running out of adjectives here. It really uh, helped me work up an appetite. Now I'm off on the Jasper food tour. Oh, sorry. Oh. The taxi driver just stopped for us to take uh, pictures of these elk. This is a wild herd. These are not, these are not uh, anybody's elk. <laughs> these are not farm animals. These are not farm animals. And they're actually dangerous. A couple years ago, a friend of mine, Rico, who's my boss, uh, an employee couldn't get to work because he was snowed in in his back door and there was a bull elk on his front door. He had to call Parks to come and shoot it with a paintball gun. I forgot to film at the first stop. I was so into... Uh, eating actually but I ate elk meatloaf at the Jasper Brewing Company. And then I had vegetarian falafel at Raven Bistro. This is where the locals go. You haven't been to Jasper unless you've been here. It's Friday and today we're taking pictures and we're shooting in this beautiful cabin. Bedroom? Bedroom? Love the chimney, fireplace. And then we get to the third bedroom. Kitchen, dining area. See this barbecue? Over there. So they have a special thing in the menu. You can order a whole barbecue set. They come and bring it out. They whip up the barbecue for you. And uh, you can do the cooking yourself or have a chef do it. But you can actually just order the whole full barbecue set. Like from buffalo meat and all kinds of Alberta local meats. Salmon from BC, British Columbia. Now let's watch some TV. Or let's not. And use the other remote. Now we have professional help. <laughs> I just had to be on HDMI too, I think. Okay, high tech. <laughs> so it's a TV in a mirror. Yeah, a TV in a mirror. I think it's very cool. We took pictures at the Ridgeline cabin, we took pictures outside along the path here on the property, and now we're gonna take some pictures in the spa. In the spa means outside. Got to call this 
minus 20. So it was a very busy week. We went wildlife excursions, so moose, so elk, so Canadians. Uh, we went skiing, we did a canyon walk over ice, an ice river. We had a food tour, and today we took pictures. So pretty tired on Friday night. A healthy dinner? Yeah, I'm not lying, this is at the appetite. You get a 16 now, it's red coming up. So let's face it, this looks very healthy.